and we are back for our final match, the Royal Rumble. So, quick pre-show recap. Sheamus defeated Shorty D and... G. You know what? Shorty D has a short dick. And Andrade defeated Humberto Carrillo. Both of those, both of those matches were subpar. They were all right. They are I right. Um, I didn't watch either of them. By the way, I was too busy doing more important things. I watched them. So anyway, were they wine? Yeah, they're pretty good. Um, I mean, okay, the um, Shorty G Sheamus match I thought was actually really good. I liked. I actually liked it. It exceeded my expectations. And then Andrade and Humberto Carrillo, I kind of expected it, but at the same time. I really hope they're done with that shit. Oh my god, yes. I was actually getting kind of annoyed. But luckily, um, with our predictions, because we both chose the right person, it didn't affect anything in our predictions. So, um, at this, so before we get into it, at this point, we were two and two. We were tied. We were tied up. And the winner had to win the Royal Rumble match. Right, the women's, women. the women's Royal Rumble match decided. Are you going to talk about the regular women's Royal Rumble the regular Royal Rumble, Rumble match. Because apparently they're the same thing. thing. You know what? <laughs> let me be bitter. <laughs> I'm going to let you rant a little bit more. No, no I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. No, no, I'm not. Because, because they, they called it the Women's Royal Rumble, Rumble match. Because All right, it was so gender. let's talk about this toilet shit of a match called King Corbin versus Roman Reigns. For, in a false count anywhere match, um, the CGI was annoying. And... <laughs> And the spots were Roman, just... They, they made Roman Reigns look like he was from fucking Kenya. And I don't know why. It's like, Jesus, is this baby's first CGI? Well, that was... Or CGI. VR. That was VR. Uh, uh, VR, sorry. sorry. Fuck, it was bad. They did a lot of VR. I, I guess I guess the VR guy had a lot of fun with experimentation tonight. There, there were some of that were really cool. I will say that. Yeah. But um, Roman Reigns was, was like really obnoxious. It was. King Corbin was fine. It was. Except the crown was like baby's first graphic design. But uh, so I'm I'm going to give this match some credit. I thought it was a decent opener. It didn't get the crowd very into it, though. Well, it kind of did. I don't know. Them, them, them going, going through the crowd, crowd people were really into the match. Yeah. And, and there were some spots that were pretty innovative. Yeah. Um, there was the porta potty spot. I really wish that was the end of the match where Corbin was, like, drowned in, like, shit. I thought that would have been really fun. Put air quotes there, by the way. I did. Um, there was the... Um, uh, fighting, fighting on, on top, top of the dugout, dugout yeah, which, which I, I thought was, was kind of cool. cool. I, I actually did like, like that. that. That's where that's where Roman Reigns won the match. By the way, it was a spear. It was a terrible spear, spear but, but at the same time, time I really, I really, I really wish they had like a dummy top, and, and they speared and they went through it. That, that would have been really, really cool. cool. But um, with all of the matches, I did enjoy it at times. It wasn't the best opening match, but uh, the, it was good for an opening match. The Usos and Dol the um, Usos and Robert Roode and Dolph Ziggler got involved, but it wasn't it wasn't overwhelming. Right, right. But what I hated about that though was the fact that they totally took the attention off of Roman Reigns and King Corbin. Right. right. That was the problem. It's like, okay, well, where's the match really happening? Might as might as well have a six man. Right. They should have waited to have a six man tag here. Yeah. I would have been okay with that. Have. In, In fact, fact, I thought that would have been a really cool match. match. Yeah. A false count anywhere, six man tag. tag. Right. That, that would have been really cool. With a split screen so that you could see three different things happening at the same time. Mm -hmm. That, that would have been really cool. cool. Yeah. So, anyways, that's kind of what happened. Not, not, not a bad opener. Eh, People we were into it. It was, um, was, was kind of cool, cool seeing like everything in the arena, arena though. Yeah. I thought that was kind of neat. Uh, not, not a bad thing. thing. The, the next, next match was the Women's Royal Rumble. Rumble. And so this let's was... just talk about the highlights. I don't want to go through everyone who came in. But, in, let's, in the time. but let's talk about... So let's first talk about Lana. Oh, my God. Lana so she said, I am, I'm the I am the greatest WW superstar of all time. Oh, my God. Um, Liv Morgan is literally everything to me right now. And Liv Morgan and Lana eliminate each other. Yes. It is amazing. I, I did not mind that. Uh, Bianca and, Belair. Oh, let's talk about Bianca Belair. Bianca Belair. Iron Woman. She was the dark horse in this match. And in she the was Iron, Woman. Iron Woman. She has the most eliminations yep. as of right now in any women's Royal Rumble match in yep. ever. And she looked really good. Okay. And well, people were super oh, yeah. hot on her, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's talk about the Otis yes. and um, 
so Mandy Rose was gonna yes, be eliminated. Mandy, Mandy Rose. Lived. Otis rolled. So he, okay, I'm I'm gonna Otis, paint this Otis picture. Otis underneath the ring. Otis rolled out as Mandy Rose is going over the rope, and Mandy Rose landed on top of Otis. Like they were face to face basically, and she stands up on Otis's belly. He's like, "You got this." Like you know, you're not like an entire grown woman on my belly. And she gets back in the ring, so she wasn't eliminated. No. That spot was so fantastic. And then later in the match, she almost got eliminated again, but then Otis, Otis caught, caught her. her. And then Sonia Deville, Deville landed on both of them, and Otis tripped over. And the, the, the Otis-Mandy Rose thing was so great in this it was. show. I mean, I popped. I did not expect that. Yeah, that was cool. It was really cool. That was cool to see. And, and I will, I will, I'm going to say something. This was the best Women's Royal Rumble I have ever seen. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss, they really did a lot of good work. Together. Um, together. Yep. Um, as we as we know. There was a really good stare-off between uh, Tamina and Bianca Blair. Yep. I really liked it. I really hope I see those more. Um, Be uh, Beth Phoenix. So, Ooh. Naomi. So, oh, the returns. Uh, Mighty Molly mm -hmm. was entered at number three. Mercedes Martinez at number six. Uh -huh. um, we had a couple of other NXT stars. There was Candice LeRae and Bianca Belair. You know, your general ones. Kelly right. Kelly was number 21. Beth Phoenix was number 19. Yep. Chelsea Green was number 16, which I didn't think was going to happen. Right. That was kind of cool. Um, oh, God. But I think a lot of it was uh, Bianca Belair. And then a lot of Alexa Bliss too. Um, and then Charlotte Flair comes in. Yes, uh, and she Mighty, starts yep. eliminating people. Yep. Um, there was the Blackheart chick at number twenty six. Mm -hmm. Santino Morella at twenty nine. Fuck me. So we knew that Santino Morella was going to the Rumble, but I thought he was going to be in the Men's Royal Rumble. No, it was in the, in the, it was in the Women's. You know, because we're so progressive like that. And Peanut Gallery actually thought about it. He actually had Santino Morella to be the person going into it. I think he should have because he would have been the first man and the first woman right. in both matches at the same time. <laughs> it was, I thought that would have been cool. That would have been cool. Yeah. Um, everything in this match made sense. Shayna Baszler was the last one. Number 30. She eliminated one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. Um, Beth Phoenix was cut. Bad too. Oh yeah. Uh, she started bleeding out of the back of her head, and yeah. it was almost like Ric Flair bad. Uh, she lasted. It was Flair, Shayna Baszler, and Beth Phoenix mm -hmm. as the last ones. Beth Phoenix looked great, by the way. Oh yeah. Uh, she was eliminated by Baszler, and the fun fact was, I chose Charlotte Flair to win, and she entered at seventeen, and Peanut Gallery chose Shayna Baszler. Yeah. So the last. Two. This was to determine who was going to win the majestic champion <laughs> right. of the world. And and this is like the second year in a row I think this happened where it went yep. down to like two people in a big match like this. Well, yeah. yeah, it was it was just it was so good. And Charlotte Flair won. This was a, but it could have gone either way. Oh, easily. Um, it was so close too. Oh, uh, Charlotte God, yes. was really close. She got Baszler out. And ugh, this match was incredible. It was great. This is why I, I always told Peanut Gallery that other than like WrestleMania, Wrestle Kingdom, like your general big ones, Royal this Royal is Royal. my favorite event oh, yeah. of the year. It it's so there's so much going on. Yeah. And you really get to see what's going into WrestleMania so blatantly right but also you get excited right and it's so fun it and is. this really this really showcased that yeah there was a lot of good working parts and pieces they didn't yep. fuck up anything in this right. match Not either really. um a lot of good stuff i was so happy with this rumble i could praise it and honestly if you want to watch one of the rumbles watch women's. this one yeah it watch was, the women's um, it exceeded my expectations. All really right, good. so let's talk about some of the boring matches in between. I Bailey and Lacey Evans. I like the storyline. Honestly, this is one of my favorite storylines coming into it. Really? I think so. I like it. 
Um, I like Lacey Evans because as a baby Lacey face. Because Lacey Evans is a baby face, and I really, she's really strong as a baby face, and I think that she should keep that. And I've been, ba- I've been praising Bailey as a heel. I oh, think it's yeah. great. That's what I like about it, though. But I this like match this. sucked. I did not the, like the this. The match was underwhelming. Yes. It was very underwhelming, and I was this, expecting this was a lot more. This break. Yep. Um, but I think because it was right after such an incredible Royal Rumble match, it's hard to really follow it up. Is. And this is why the Royal Rumble matches should be back-to-back. Honestly, right. I'm sorry. Right. They should. Uh, and it was a double knees into the um, from a moonsault counter, and Bailey just won with a roll up. Yeah. And I thought that was good. I yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah. Where she grabbed the tights at the last second, rolled out of the ring. She retains, keeping this very intense well, title ring yeah. going. And and I think that they'll have one more not blow off match yep. at Elimination Chamber before WrestleMania. Before WrestleMania, when yep. she goes up against Charlotte. Or, yeah, whatever's going to happen. I can see Lacey Evans and Charlotte. I think that'd be cool. I can see Bailey and Charlotte. Either one. Oh, yeah. I'm going to assume that because I believe to, with the Royal Rumble win being Charlotte, she's going to go for the SmackDown, and yep. both Peanut Gallery and I are saying it's going to be Becky and Lynch, who won the match with Asuka, by the way, but I think everybody will know that, um, taking on Shayna Baszler, which is fine. Either Shayna Baszler or Ronda Rousey, depending on who they can get first. Right. Um, probably Ronda Rousey will be first. <laughs> so, well, if they can get Ronda Rousey to come back to the ring, it'll be Ronda Rousey. If right. not, it's going to be Shayna. Right. Um, our next match for the Universal Champion. This is the first time that we saw. This was an okay match. I liked this match a Bray lot. Bray Wyatt and Daniel Bryan. Um, this was the first time that we saw the Fiend Championship on television. Also, this is the first time that the Fiend had a match without the red lights. It was kind of intriguing. This wasn't the first time. His first match did not have it. The one with Finn Balor. Oh, that's right. did it. He did not have it. Um, thank God that they did not have it. Right. Because it wasn't super distracting and annoying. Mm-hmm. Um, and this match, I thought, with the strap match stipulation, I thought they did played really well right. with it. And also, uh, Bray Wyatt, I think, looked... He did not look weak, but he looked defeated a couple of times where theoretically Daniel Bryan right. could have won. Yeah. Um, they gave them really good time. Yep. Uh, Daniel Bryan looked really good. Nobody was buried in this match no. either. Uh, Bray Wyatt is still This universal. rivalry is going to continue to mania for sure. And that's what I thought. I think Bray Wyatt, it would still be too early for The Fiend to lose. Yeah. At least cleanly like this. Right. And if he's going to lose it, it's going to be a triple threat. Yeah. Which we'll get to later. But I thought it was a good match. I thought it was a really good Universal yeah. Championship match. It was all right. Um, I really enjoyed it. It, 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 was, it was another meh match. Really? Yeah. I thought this match was they, better. I thought this match was better than their one uh, last time. To be oh, honest. yeah, it was. Uh, but that's just me. I liked it. Anyway, uh, Becky Lynch and Asuka for the Raw Women's Champion. I loved this match. It was an okay match. Why do you say that? It was a really good match. It was. There, there. It, it's not a classic. It's not an instant classic, though. No. With with Becky Lynch, every match almost has to be an instant classic at this point. For you to be, for you to be somewhat interested, right? Because that's the point in time where she's at. Right. Becky, she's held this for so long. It just there wasn't enough build, I don't think, for this to be an instant classic match. I think they should have at least had Oscar with Becky Lynch in some fashion right. from last year's Royal Rumble because right. remember, uh, the SmackDown Women's Champion was between Becky Lynch and Oscar, mm-hmm. and Oscar won. She right. beat Becky Lynch and gained that championship just to lose to Charlotte. Oh. But right. with Becky Lynch winning this with a disarm her, I thought this match this match honestly exceeded my expectation. I thought they did really good with it, but I have expectations that you have going into it though. As compared to last year's match, I th- I thought this match was going to be really good and this match was even better. Okay. Honestly, the only the only thing that would have made it better was if Becky Lynch got out of the move that Asuka beat her with. Yeah. Because she didn't. Right. Becky Lynch tapped out to Asuka last year. And if she got out of that, that would have symbolized where Becky Lynch evolved as a star. Right. Added to this story. 
and then beat Asuka. Right. And Asuka did not look weak. Asuka could go for this no. belt next month and be fine. Right. But. Not saying that, but I thought that, you know, as kind of an overarching thing. Right. I felt like they could have built it better, and I felt like the match could have been better. Right. They, I think the matches between the Rumble, they were all okay, but we all know why people were really there. But they were really there for the Rumble. Right. Well, uh, it's the Royal Rumble. Right. Like, come on. So, finally, as the main event goes in, Ooh, it's the men's Royal Rumble. This. Let's talk about, you know, like the women, let's talk about the men's, uh, like, shiny Brock, pieces. Brock we, Lesnar. We, we have to talk about Brock Lesnar. He eliminated, like, half the field there. Oh, yeah. Brock Lesnar dominated. Himself. Um, the Shelton Benjamin part, I thought, was really good. I liked it. Yeah, so, so Shelton Benjamin and... Brock Lesnar are good friends in IRL. Yep. Um, and uh, Shelton Benjamin is the godfather to Brock Lesnar's, I believe, two of his kids. Yeah. So there is that some um, sense of respect and loyalty and friendship uh, you know, and love. But, you know, Shelton Benjamin was still made by Brock Lesnar. Right. Oh, let's talk about Shinsuke Nakamura, who... Beat Brock Lesnar years ago for the IWGP Champion. Everybody wanted to see this. Yeah. Um, I thought it was a really good little thing. I really wish Shinsuke had stayed in there longer. Right. But then we had MVP. No, let's talk about John Morrison first, who was number five. Oh, yes. He was eliminated immediately. Yes. He was absolutely So destroyed. MVP came in. He was eliminated almost immediately. I thought it was really cool because he chased Paul Heyman around. Yeah. There was a little bit of fun stuff with there. Um, and then... He got oh, his match Keith with Keith Lee. Lee. Oh, I got goosebumps at that point. I have oh goosebumps my now. God. It's like, God damn, can we have this match? And then Braun Strowman came in. So you have Keith Lee, Brock Lesnar, Braun Strowman. Hell yes. All of it. Um, Brock Lesnar eliminated both of them at the same time. But then, then Ricochet came at 15 Ricochet and, and Drew McIntyre. McIntyre. Where Ricochet hit Lesnar with something. And then Drew more. McIntyre Play eliminated. More Brock Lesnar. Yep, with the Claymore kick. With the Claymore. And the thing was is that Drew McIntyre stared at Lesnar essentially between each thing the whole time between... Well, well, at least between number like 17 and 20. Right. Um, and then Lesnar saw him. They met eyes. It's like, yes. That, we want this. that is and a also, WrestleMania match. They, they matched and people went ballistic when it was... <laughs> right. um, Drew McIntyre and Brock Lesnar face to face because... But I mean, Drew McIntyre has such a physical presence um, presence and with Brock Lesnar who's always had it mm -hmm. ever it's going to be a really good match um, oh, yeah. I thought it was really good it really builds Drew McIntyre to be like that next <laughs> person it's the biggest baby face in the company easily uh, AJ Styles he came in number 18 mm -hmm. he was eliminated yes he was eliminated but he something happened to him. Yes, yeah, yeah, so trainers, trainers I, I, saw, I saw the trainer and I told Pinico, I'm like, watch watch at the ringside because they went over to Styles and then they circled right. around and made sure that he was okay. And oh oh by the way, um Edge returned. Edge. Yeah, Edge returned number twenty one, Edge. Now I, I want I want you to let's try that again. I edge. want you guys to keep in mind. This is Edge, the Radar Superstar Edge, not yes, the Foster Edge. He has been retired for over, almost over, like almost a decade, yeah. nine years. He retired in 2011, and I remember when that happened. We were still, well, I was in college, but he was in. I was, I was in. We, I was in high school when he right. retired, and I've been graduated from college for like five years now. Um, and it was such an incredible. Everyone went. Mental. <laughs> as soon as we heard, do you think you know me? I'm like, huh? <laughs> Edge played that so well, but yes, um, something happened to AJ Styles mm -hmm. where um he was eliminated. Yeah, I think he was eliminated prematurely. Yeah, and something was going on because when he was eliminated, he was like slumped over. And he was holding his arm. And, so I think something happened to his shoulder. Right. And I really hope it's nothing bad. Because I don't think so. I don't think so either, but at the same time, at least he was eliminated and Edge knew something happened. So he's like, we need to get him out now. Oh, let's talk about bro. Oh, okay. yes. Uh, Matt Riddle came in. That secured my victory. Like, of all time. Oh, yeah. And you didn't choose Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle was like my dark horse choice. I'm like, I'm just going to throw him in there because we need somebody. Right. And as soon as I heard that, I'm like, 
that's it that's it i'm jumping up and down i'm pretty sure our downstairs neighbors hate us because you know that's yeah, all right we were screaming could be worse this is why i love i mean i'll, I'll talk about it when we're done but i just i was so happy yeah um, then Randy Orton came in. We had Rated RKO joining yep. back in together. They um, eliminated the Good Brothers. Both Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows were in the match. Good. And then we got you a feel-good feel moment there. Yep. Kevin Owens, a Samoa Joe came in. Then number 30 was Seth Rollins with his entourage. Yes, I thought Buddy Murphy was in the match. I thought so, too. Um, he was number 30, though, and they eliminated... So Rollins eliminated Aleister Black, who came in at number 28... And then he eliminated, catches Rollins and puts him back in. Then and then Rollins eliminates Owens, Owens and, and Joe. Joe. And then Owens, Joe, and Black attack AOP and Buddy Murphy. They all go back into the back. And then there were five. Yeah, so and also, also, also um, AOP and Buddy Murphy attacked Randy Orton, Edge, Drew McIntyre. They attacked basically everybody right. else in the match. But they dragged them underneath the rope. They didn't eliminate them. Right. So Rollins was basically, like, destroyed. Right. And Drew McIntyre eliminated him. Yeah. And the ending of the match, there were three people. Edge, Roman Reigns, Drew McIntyre. Edge, um, no, Reigns eliminates Edge and McIntyre eliminates Reigns. Drew McIntyre won. This match that was, was incredible. It was such a good match. It was such a feel-good moment. Drew McIntyre, who was fired from the WWE, came back, looks better than ever, and now he's in the main he event. He won the Royal Rumble. He's probably going to face Lesnar, oh, yeah. which is going to be such a great match. Oh, that match is going to that, that's gonna close out the night. Now, what I wanted to say... Is that Royal Rumble specifically for WWE is just one of those shows that you get so invested that you jump up and down. It makes you into a wrestling fan again. Like, there's a lot of crap that WWE does, but they have shining moments. And you can always guarantee the Royal Rumble is one of those that just makes you feel like. Right. You're watching it on the ground as a kid again. Like like someone who was never there is finally going to that spot. You get your surprise you appearances. You're finally and... going to get a match, for example, that does not involve Seth Rollins or Roman Reigns in the main event scene. That's not it, though. The thing but is... You're going to get someone new who deserves that spot. Who right. finally you get gets that. there. And it's a feel-good moment. It makes you happy. And the whole... It, Everything about the show was great. Right. There was good comedy. It wasn't overbearing and terrible. It was fun. Even the Santino Morella. Yeah. People went nuts oh, yeah, over right. that. And uh, Santino Morella pulled oh, the and, Cobra and, out of her bra, and people lost it. Oh, and she eliminated herself, by the way. <laughs> oh, that was too funny. Uh, she was like, Beth Phoenix or Italian. They're like, hell no. And she's like, okay. And eliminates herself. It was just it's it, so it was it was like I said yeah. good good easy to digest comedy right they broke mixed, it up very well mixed with a lot of seriousness to a match that makes sense I I, I felt like a kid again I was jumping up and down I was screaming I was saying yes I'm like oh my god I feel like sitting in the living room of when we lived with dad yeah or mom and it was just it was just one of those things that i felt like it just struck a nerve where it's yeah. like this is a reason why i'm a wrestling fan and that could be a really good show of what keeps us as wrestling fans and i think anybody can relate to that so anyways we got a minute don't don't want to don't want to cut you out there but a minute favorite match of the night how Ugh. many stars God, I mean, okay, I'm going to give this entire show five stars. One. Okay. And the Men's Royal Rumble was my favorite match. I'm going to agree with you that the Men's Royal Rumble was the match of the night. I'm going to give it four and a half stars. Four there and a half. Were, there were some weak, weaker matches. They were not strong enough for the Royal Rumble matches. They should have switched them around. Right. My um, opinion. It's. I mean, that's being, like, really nitpicky right. about it. But everything that they did, I felt like everything was in the right place. Yeah. There was nothing wrong with it. It was so easy to digest, too. It was like, oh, I could watch this show again and not be bored. I, there was never a point in time where, like, oh, my God, end this. 
I wanted to see more. Oh, I wanted to end the the Roman Reigns match, but you know that's that was, was the opening match. match. Right, like that's so different. different. But, but other, other than that, that, it was just such a great show. It was show. great. Um. So, anyways, um, Wrestle Week that, was so incredible. Well, um, that I, I will is post... going to be the end of the show. Next week is going to be what topic is going to be next week? We're talking about Trailblazers, not, not WWE, WWE Trailblazers, right. like. The people who made a cultural significance in the wrestling industry, inside and outside mainstream media, right. um, no who transitioned next week. So we are going to do that, which is very right now. Which um, transition from blank to blank, not your, um, not the trailblazers like your whatever, but like. Your right, two, two trailblazers, right, right? Like Tutmon, yeah, El Santos, Tristratus. Right, 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 right. Who cares? Anyway, so trailblazers are next week. No pay per view because it's a big game. Yes, it's a rule. And next, next week, week go is... red team. Both of them are red. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we might discuss it. I don't know. We, I mean, we might. No, we're gonna do the. Well, we might do it before the show before the Super Bowl. Yeah. Before right. the big game, we might do it before the big game. Right. We can't say we can't say the SB word on television here, and the NFL might sue us. They won't sue us for saying it. If we show clips, we'll get it's the Looper Bowl. This isn't this isn't the, the Olympics. Bowl. Go Red Team. Yes. So um, as always, guys, become a patron and watch the show with us. I lost my mind. It was a lot of fun. I'll post a clip later. Maybe I don't know. I didn't do it. Yes. And as always, be. Majestic. Also, I will be posting a picture of the Majestic Champion of the Universe once we get it. World. Fuck. Oh, you mean the one that I'm 